Boom! Welcome back to Boom Rugby for more rugby facts, insights and also reviews. So, the Super Rugby Trans Testament is on again today with the uh, Hurricanes will host the Rebels and Western Force will, hosting, uh, will be hosting the Highlanders. But let's recap what happened during the first round in my video review. You ready? Let's go! It's gonna be a long five weeks for the Australian Super Rugby sides as the New Zealanders crush them, thump them 5-0 in all games. Uh, but it's not all over yet for them as there is so much more that we can talk about during the last week's round. So I will break it down game by game for you. But before that, if you haven't subscribed, tackle the subscribe button and smash the bell button if you want to get notified on my new video. First game of the season, Queensland Raids versus the Highlanders, the champion of Super Rugby AU versus the fourth place of Super Rugby Aotearoa. The loss that the Raids had, 40 to 19, was indeed a wake-up call. They were just triumphant against the Brumbies six days before, but they were crashed. But they crashed down back to earth when uh, against the Highlanders, which only won three out of their eight games in Super Rugby Aotearoa. Highlanders started well with a try in the early minutes by Scott Gregory and was leveled shortly by the Reds through Kalani Thomas. But unfortunately, they spent most of the first half in their own half. Reds coach Brad Thorn opted to rest several of his stars and they suffered another blow when skipper and playmaker James O'Connor failed a HIA before the second half. Reds' ill discipline and lack of ball security repeatedly caused them any chance of a victory. It was a cricket game score when the Hurricanes met the Waratahs. 64 to 48. Wow, 17 tries. It was an exciting game for us but the heart wrenching for the Waratahs fans. The clash of the bottom teams in their, uh, in their own Super Rugby version uh, was an entertaining game but Waratahs failed to convert their first half lead into a win. Hurricanes scored their tries through Jordi Barrett, Dane Coles, Peter Umaga Jensen, Braden Iose, Patafilo, Asafo Amua, and doubles from Proctor and Julian Savia. Phew, that is a lot. Seeing the score, Waratahs should really look at their defense effort in the next round. On the other hand, Hurricanes walk away with a bonus point, which will be crucial in the coming rounds on their table standings. It was a heartbreak for the Brumbies when they were a kick away to draw it against the Super Rugby Aotearoa champions, Crusaders. The never say die attitude from the Brumbies showed that it was not over till it's over when the score was 31-17. 10 minutes remaining, the Brumbies made a magical solo try by their fullback, Tom Banks. Followed by a 79-minute yellow card to Crusaders substitute Inari which gave the Brumbies a last-minute try from Rob Valentini. Even though the kick from Noah Lolisio didn't go in, he was consoled by his teammates after a remarkable fight back. So, was it an off day for the Crusaders or Brumbies is a potential contender? Marika Korei Betis' try scoring rod continues when the Rebels lost big at AAMI Park, when the Blues thumped them to 50-3 victory. The game really started in the second half as there were no tries scored in the first half. Hoskins Sotutu scored two early second half tries and even goes full Harlem Globetrotter style of play that sets up AJ Lamb's try. There was not a lot to talk about the Rebels as the game was dominated by the Blues in possession and territory. The last game of the weekend, the Comeback King, the Chief versus Western Force. There has not been a Super Rugby game in Perth since 2017. Unfortunately, they too suffered a heartbreaking 2019 loss, same like their counterparts, uh, the Brumbies, when uh, their Argentinian fly half, Domingo Muti, missed a conversion after the final siren. The Chiefs were down to 13 men on the last 10 minutes of the first half that gave the Force an advantage and were awarded a penalty try to level the scores, but the Chiefs took a lead into the halftime. Jacobson was shown a second yellow card in the 66th minute for interfering at the breakdown, 
and that gave a glimmer of hope to the Western force when Richard Kahui scored the last try of the game. But like I said before, the missed conversion was a heartbreaker for the force fans. With round 2 coming up later today, let's look at the current standings and fixtures. I am excited what round 2 would bring to us. I think that's all from me. Don't forget to like this video. But if you haven't subscribed, tackle the subscribe button to know more about Rabbi Facts, insights and also reviews. Till the next video, boom!